Shalon says she will stop at nothing to protect her daughter. You see, last year, her daughter claimed that her pop-pop, Anthony, sexually molested her. Oh. And even though authorities closed the case for lack of evidence, Shalon says Anthony has been acting guilty. But he says Shalon coached his granddaughter to make this accusation. Take a look. A year ago, I was sleeping downstairs. I heard a lot of noise upstairs in my house. Shalon family was at my door saying that I had touched her daughter. So what I'm here for is declare my name and the people that knows me know that I'm not that type of person at all. Salon daughter claims that I told her to lay down for me to touch her, which is something like, why would I tell a child like that? I also had other grandkids in the house, never had no complaints. I believe Salon coached her daughter and saying these things, or I believe that Salon knew who actually touched her daughter. Salon is not concerned about her daughter at all. What she's worrying about is doing what she does, going out partying and everything else, and leaving her responsibility for other people. Ever since this happened, my granddaughter never came back to my house. We all miss her in the family. I even told Jane, maybe she can come over sometimes in the daytime, spend time with her cousins, and she can go back home. It's times where I would say, I will go out, and she can come over for a little while, and then when she leaves, she, I can come back home. But it never happens. My stepson, James, me and him still had the same relationship we had from the beginning. One day, James asked me why I take a lie detector test. I said, yes, sure, when? He said, Saturday. Four Saturdays went past, no lie detector test. Another month go past, no lie detector test. So what I did, I took it upon myself watching TV one day. I seen Steve on stage. I said, you know what? That's a good idea. I'm going to do that. So today, I'm here to get my family back in order to make sure my name is set straight and everything go back to normal as it always was. Uh, Shalon, that's your ex's stepdad on tape. Yes. Uh, what's going on? All right, so a year ago, um, I went to pick my daughter up from James's house. Uh, she had just turned three. You know, she told me she had to use the restroom. When she went to use the restroom, um, she didn't even walk in. She was just standing right in front of the restroom, squatting, and she peed on herself. It was a red flag right off the jump. So, you know, I began to ask her, you know, are you okay down there? You know, and at first, you know, she looked very afraid. She was scared. And I had to reassure her, like, you know, it's okay. You can tell mommy. Are you okay? Did anyone touch you down there? Then she said, yeah, Pop Pop, which is Anthony. Um, James, you know, he's an epileptic, so he had seizures and everything. I this is your ex, James? Yeah. I called him, and I'm like, have you, has it been a time it was just you three in the house or have you had a seizure at home and it was just you three? And right off the bat, he's telling me no. And that's untrue because the day she peed on herself, when I went to pick her up, it was just them three in the house. Do, I you, uh, do you live with James or no? No, I no. have my own You place. guys are split up. Yeah, we're not together. Uh, but we co-parent. And what is, exactly did she say that Pop when, Pop did to her? She said he touched me here and here, pointing to her butt. And her and her vagina, and then she further displayed by like <laughs> saying something very disturbing, which right. I really don't remember. So she was graphic and yeah, graphic. And for and for her age, she should have not been able to do that. So I'm going down to the police station, you know, to file a complaint. Um, I took my daughter to, through uh, child services, uh, and to have my three-year-old examined. Like, that's, that's not normal. And it just hurts so bad because I really don't want this to be true. I just hope, like, it's a misunderstanding, but I'm going to do whatever I have to do to protect my child. You're, you're James' uh, stepdad, right? Yes. And before this happened, all right, right. before this accusation came about, how was your relationship with James, with her, with... Uh, oh, with me and Howard, we was fine. Was fine. Okay. I, I, no, man, I'm you not, had a relationship. I, 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 would, I, I, you I, I, would you call... No would you call the little girl your granddaughter? Yes, I do. Okay. All of them. All right. So you would say everything was fine? Yeah. Yeah. And I've been with James since he was four years old. Okay. okay. So you're like his dad? Right. Okay. Pretty much. Um, when you hear this accusation, what goes through your mind? 
I'm, I'm heartbroken. I'm really heartbroken. I, I mean, I'm, I'm really you fed ain't up. Like, you're not the like it's like, Anthony. it's like, weird. like when I go places and my husband is room out on me. I'm thinking people are always looking at me, making me Everybody a bad guy. Good. I'm not a bad guy. Um, why do you think that you're being accused? Here, Salah would drop her daughter off. Supposed to come back the next day. Salah mm -hmm. come back five days later. You was Lie. Five days later. Use a lie. Is, now you're saying, okay. It is. James can say himself. He lost so many jobs. Yeah, he lost many jobs. He lost jobs. He lost jobs. While I was out providing not, for my child, he was at home babysitting like he's supposed to. That's his child. That's, I'm not leaving her with that, just anybody. That, that, he's not babysitting. I'm leaving her with, okay. He's, not he's, exactly he's taking care of his child. Care his child. So if I'm taking care of things called, financially, he's going to, okay, so what? What, what are he's, you really he's saying? He's taking care of his child. You're trying to make little. Something that is not what we all here to find out if you touch my daughter, yeah. period. Well, that's why we here. Period. Hey, no. That's period. why we here. How you doing, James? I'm good. Yourself? Good. Um, you know, you're kind of in a tough position, right? This whole situation just tearing everything apart. I want answers to get everything figured out, situated. I mean, because honestly, deep down inside, I don't feel like Anthony would do something like this. I've known him for over 20 years of my life now. He is my father. I consider him my father. But also, when the situation was brought up, you know, me and her had a one-on-one one day, we went out to eat, and I was talking to her. And I, I asked her, I'm like, did Pop-Pop ever touch you anywhere, or did anything to you at all? And she said, yes, you know, Pop-Pop touched me in my private area, and she showed me. And it, it really tore me up inside. Like, Steve, I didn't know what to do. As, like I said, as a father, and being raised with this man also, it's like, I, I just didn't know what to do. Your stepdad kind of believes that maybe uh, Shalon coached your, your daughter. Yes, he told me that, that he feels as though like she could have coached her to do, you know, say something like this, but my question about that also is what would be her motivation behind doing something like that? Right, because before this all happened, they got along, right? They had a... Oh, it, the relationship between them two was great. What are your feelings as Shalon as a mother? Is she a good mother? Yeah, she's a good mother. I, yeah. I believe, I feel as though she's a great mother. Right. Uh, but this whole incident has put a, uh, a strain on your relationship with Shalon. Yes. Okay. We're, we're going to bring your stepdad out first so you can talk to him. Okay. And then we'll bring out Shalon and we'll get to the results. But let's bring Anthony out first. James, you know, like, I'm torn up. But you know I'm, what? I'm asking you right now, please. Hey, father to father. Son to father, Yo, I'm I asked be, you before, I'm, I'm you told me, test, but though. right now, just let me know. I be, just, I be, I'm going to beat this test. Is there any doubt at all? Colors. And when because I beat like, this test, we're going to celebrate. That's what we're going to do. I, I would never hurt your daughter. And we asked you, did your daughter really tell you that Pop Pop touched her? You answered yes. Did you coach your daughter to say that Pop Pop touched her? You answered no. Results came back the same teach question, and they came back that Shalon told the truth. Thank you. Like, why would I sit there and coach my daughter to say something like this? Yeah. No, that's my child. Yeah. I would never. That's, that's very disgusting. Anthony came here and took a lie detector test. <laughs> and we asked him, did you ever have any type of sexual, physical contact with your step-granddaughter? He answered no. Did you ever touch your step-granddaughter's private area for your own sexual gratification or pleasure? He answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and they came back that Anthony told the truth. So there's That's a misunderstanding, good. obviously. Yo, I love you, dog. I love Thank both of you, but still, like, y'all. And listen, you did the right I'm thing. I'm happy. You did. You like, did. I apologize, but you he don't, don't want it, whatever. No, you know what? You don't have to apologize because you're not lying. Your daughter tells you something. You did what we always tell every mother to do. All right. Okay. Uh, as a parent, you're supposed to protect your child, and that's what you did. You know, you came here and you cleared your name. Um, I feel good and, about and, it. And, and, and being accused okay, of it, it's got to be a lot on, on your shoulders. But 
if there's anything that we can do in the future for you, if there's anybody else that you would want to come on and take a test, we'll be here for you. Thank you.